Hey guys, just picked up these pixels the other day. Really impressed me, really love them for throwing. And I think they might become my new putters. Let's try them out. If you haven't seen my Pixel and Prism Envy review, why don't you go ahead and check that out? But this Pixel really impressed me. Such a great thrower, and I was really impressed with it as a putter too. So I'm gonna do a little putting practice while I talk about the Pixel. So if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know I love the Judges. One of my favorite putter. Judges have a bead on it. This Pixel doesn't have a bead on it. At least I don't think it does, but it feels like it does. And I'm just digging the way it putts. One thing I realized in my review I did with this, Pixels really like to have a nice little touchy spin putt, which kind of makes sense because Simon definitely is a touchy spin putter, which I mean, he doesn't blast it in there. He just does a nice little spin putt, which I gotta say is probably closer to my putt style, even though I am more of a push putter, but I really am trying to get more of a, like a spin putter. And who knows, having a judge type disc that has the gyro technology, I mean, it can't be a bad thing, right? Now we're at about 30 feet here. Whenever I do miss with the pixels, it's always a little bit high. I think it's because it's, it's a little bit of a glidey putter. If you know anything about putters, glidey putters are great, but they don't handle a lot of power. Let's go back to 30. This is the money distance when you guys are playing. Good distance to practice from. All right, we're gonna go back to that 30 foot distance. If I was gonna practice one distance in putting, this would be it, 30 feet. I feel like that's where the biggest difference between like an amateur and a professional disc golfer is being able to nail those 30 foot putts when you need to. Starting to feel like I'm really getting these putters dialed in. Man, I feel great. All right, let's take these back to circle's edge. We'll go back to maybe 33, 35 feet. All right, let's do 35. Nice glidey putter, really digging that. Makes these circle edge putts effortless. Sometimes I find with my judges that when I'm, you know, 40 feet out or whatever, I really gotta pump on them to get them close. Don't feel like I have to do that with these pixels. Not having a problem with distance. Just like everything with putting, gotta get lined up. All right, let's go back to 40 feet. Now we're at 40 feet. Just want you guys to see how effortless these putts are. I'm not really having to step putt or anything. Yep. They might not be going in, but they're getting close. And I'm not really having to crank on them either. Forty-five feet. All right, let's do it. Not sure if you guys can even see me at this angle, but we're about forty-five feet now. I mean, huh? Effortless. All right, guys, I gotta say I'm probably more consistent from 35, 45 than I am inside. So that just tells me I need to kind of get used to these, being able to put them nice and flat, maybe a little bit more spinny, just dead flat. Doesn't like the nose up so much when you're close, but a little bit nose up from far, it's gonna glide in there, guys. Super impressed with these pixels. Such a good putter. I mean, I've said this in my other video, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be bagging these. If nothing else, they're just effortless from distance. So if you haven't got a pixel yet, check it out. And it's a good thrower too.